Leaving so soon? I'm not done playing with you yet. You really think you can escape? <laughs> run, run, little Mal. Boo. <laughs> to admit. You got farther than I thought you would. You didn't really think I was sleeping, did you? No. I was merely biding my time. Waiting to see. To see if you had enough fire in you to try and run. And you did. <laughs> How delightful. Hmm. That's not to say I'm not going to punish you for this transgression. Oh, no, no, no. I can't let my plaything run around without repercussions. It sets a bad example. Now, what should we do with you? Hmm? What should your punishment be? Maybe I could sever this arm and beat you with it. <laughs> it's a funny thought. But you'd surely die, and that would end our fun. Maybe I could just carve you up a little more. See how much you take until you clap. That's right. Fight me, plaything. Fight in vain. <clears throat> Did you just stab me? <laughs> if you thought that would stop me... You're even stupider than you look. As if a puny steel dagger could end me. It isn't even silver. You truly know nothing of my kind. <sighs> Your whimpering won't save you. If you thought you were going to suffer before... Oh, you have no idea what you've done. If you're so fond of this knife, perhaps I should return it to you in similar fashion. Wouldn't that be fair? And your skin is so delicate. It tears so easily. I could just slide the blade in, right here between your ribs. Keep it nice and safe where it belongs, with you. Oh, no, but that might kill you, wouldn't it? Then again, you didn't seem to mind if I were to perish. As if you could ever be worthy of that. But I can tell you what you are worthy of. Pain. <laughs> oh, so much pain. So much more than I would have given you otherwise. And you have earned every second. Shut up. You're coming with me. Back to wolf territory. I don't want the sounds of your screams to attract any more unwanted attention. <laughs> Finally, the comforts of home. <sighs> Nothing like a familiar place to do some familiar things. <laughs> 
Mm. What? You aren't going to try to run again. There are no chains here. No shackles, ropes. Go on. Push me off of you. Show me how brave you are, human. Oh, no running then. Just more begging. But begging doesn't ease this ache in my side, little mouse. I'm going to need more than that to fix what ails me. Though perhaps, perhaps this pain isn't from your blade, no. Perhaps it is hunger that is gnawing at me instead. You do smell delicious. And finding you has worked up quite the appetite. Tell me, what part of you is most delectable? What should I eat first? None of you. Oh, come on. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? I've tasted your blood. I know your flesh must be even sweeter. How about here? On your chest. Mm. Or the meat of your shoulder. You have two after all. You don't need them both. Ah, oh, I know. Right here, right where your knife slid into me, nestled its way in by your very hand. <sighs> Just as I expected. Delicious. Oh, quit your crying. I only bit you. Hard and deep, yes. But only bites. Nothing removed. Nothing taken. Do you know how much restraint it takes not to tear you apart and consume you where you lie? And yet you whine and whimper. <clears throat> Pathetic, soft, helpless little thing. You should be grateful you still breathe after your foolish attempt at escape. <sighs> but then, the night is young, and I've only had a taste yet. Which brings to mind this. Lovely face of yours. The warm, soft tongue and lips therein. Also delicate, untouched. Just as the rest of you was. Let's do a little experiment, shall we? Go on, human. Close your eyes. Close them. Or I pluck them out. Yes. Now in my hand I have this pathetic excuse for a weapon. The dagger you thrust so lovingly into my side. And in my other hand I have... Me. <laughs> my claws. Do you remember what I told you when we first met? Hmm? 
wise, as sharp as your blade, was it? Having felt that blade intimately, I can tell you, I underestimated myself. But don't take my word for it. Let's see what you think. I'll just run them both up the length of your face here. And you tell me which feels sharpest to you. From the jaw. Up to the cheeks. And finally stopping just at the crest of the hairline. <laughs> now tell me, which side bites the hardest? Or do I need to try again, just to be sure of it? Oh no, you are certain. Well then, let me finish my work with my claws. Seeing as we both agree that they are the superior weapon. <laughs> A nice deep set of gouges here. Deep enough to scar. If you live long enough, that is. <laughs> mm, and another taste for me. Delicious. The fear makes it all the sweeter, little human. <laughs> you are so obedient then. So still and quiet while I marked your pretty face. That for your next punishment, I'll offer you a choice. You gave me such a terrible fright when you fled. And then when you attacked me, well, I don't feel safe with you as you are now. Whole and unbroken. So for my own peace of mind... It's time that I break you. Just a part of you. <laughs> oh, your sweet skull here. As fragile as porcelain. I could simply push down with my fingers and crack it open now if I wished. Rest until your eyes filled with blood. And your brain oozed out from your nostrils like warm jelly to splatter on the forest floor. <sighs> but no, I will be generous. I will simply take from you the tools of your betrayal. One of them, anyway. Which one? Well, that is where you make your choice. Fingers or legs? Fingers? You barely took a moment to think, did you? But I suppose there is little more important to pray than the ability to run, is there? Very well. Give me your hands. And no resistance. Perhaps you are learning after all. Though I must say, you're trembling quite a bit, little human. Fear not, it's only pain. And your pain is so arousing. I do not look away, Mouse. Bear witness as I take from you, as you have taken from me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 done. Oh. 
does the salt from your tears burn your wounds, I wonder? I hope it does. Oh, but I am not finished. <laughs> oh, I said I would not break your legs. I said nothing for your ankle. Mm -hmm. Oh, your eyes are distant. You're not going to faint, are you? I wouldn't blame you. So soft. So unused to pain. But I suggest you fight it. You won't like what happens if you don't. That aroused your attention, didn't it? <laughs> you live because you amuse me. However, I am hungry. Perhaps I shall go to the village now and find someone who shares your particular scent. Not just any other human, no, but one whose blood is like your own. Do I want a young morsel or an older one? Father, mother, brother. <laughs> I might stay here, though. Were I entertained enough? And that is your task, little mouth. If you wish for your loved ones to remain unharmed, you'd best stay conscious tonight. For the moment you succumbed to that blissful sleep, you have sealed their fate. So tell me, plaything, how long do you think you'll last? Sweet dream.